All right, from immortals to illegals. Is it wise to compromise? Well, on Thursday, a bipartisan group of senators announced an immigration reform bill that would increase manpower, I love that word, and resources along the Mexican border. The new plan calls for 20,000 more border patrol agents, 700 miles of additional fencing, and new high-tech surveillance tools, including drones, radar, and giant fire-breathing lizards named Rick. Always named Rick. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham says the proposal would require the Department of Homeland Security to certify that these new measures were in place before undocumented immigrants could receive green cards. Meanwhile, a Fox News poll finds that American voters tend to agree on immigration reform. 81% say they want a real border and to stop additional illegal entry. 74% favor finding a way for illegals to become permanent citizens if they pay back taxes, learn English, and watch Red Eye. Really? Oh, thanks, America. Awesome. Also on Thursday, senators released tapes showing how the new border security would work. Hmm, we're going to use that tape a lot this week. Yeah, uh, let me go to the governor first because he is a governor. And this actually, being in New Mexico, was border a, state. a border, border state, state. Uh, is a concern. Is throwing more manpower at the border a good solution? It doesn't work in most wars, just putting people in. No, no. This is, this is much to do about nothing. This is really? not going to affect the situation. We ought to make it as easy as possible for somebody that wants to come into this country and work to get a work visa. You build a fence that's 20 feet high, mm -hmm. and it's not 20 feet high, but if you do, it's a 22-foot ladder. Mm -hmm. And then so much of this border violence has to do with uh, prohibition of drugs. Right. I mean, actually uh, address the issue, legalize marijuana, and arguably 75 percent of that border violence goes away. Look, let's make it easy. You can't get a work visa. That's why there are so many illegal immigrants in this country. And what we're concerned about is is criminals. So mm -hmm. background check and a social security card so that applicable taxes would get paid. I think we should do away with income tax, corporate tax, replace it all with one federal consumption tax. I, I just solved the whole border thing for you and it doesn't involve a whole <laughs> lot more. It doesn't involve any more border security agents and it doesn't involve building a fence. That's crazy. <laughs> building a fence is crazy. All right, now Ambassador Bolton is president of Red Eye, but I think it's time for an election break. Because <laughs> I think I have my new president of Red Eye. That was a filibuster. That All was right. good. I have a feeling Gavin and Imogen are going to disagree with you, and what they were both born in another country. I'll go with you first, Gavin. I have a feeling you disagree. Well, I followed the rules to get here, and the system today punishes the people who follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Of course I agree that drugs should be legalized. Of course I agree there should be background checks and, and SIN cards. They have all that. It's called legal immigration. We let more people in legally than all other countries combined. Why do we keep trying to come up with new laws when we won't even enforce the old ones? How about a little bit of stigma towards illegal immigrants? All right, so just shed a little light, too, on the fact that uh, when you talk about decades ago, different time, you had people that came over, yeah, they were breaking the law, but they didn't even realize that now these are, these are stalwarts of the community, community leaders that are still illegal immigrants whose kids have had kids. Mm. Okay, it's, but it's you want to talk about the, the whole swath of all 15 and, million? And then, and it's then not exactly the cream of the about crop. immigration in this country. We all have a, a basis in immigration, and then oh, so much often on, gets said not about me. Ellis Not Ellis me. And I'm the pure fact that I, no. don't, I have, don't compare I have, modern I, illegals to I, the founders of this nation. I have a compromise solution here. All right, because but like, also you went, you stood in line and you oh, went yeah. through the whole process. Uh, I did, and actually I had help with two from two people around this table. So mm -hmm. thank you, Greg, and thank you, Bill, who both wrote lovely letters for me. Now look, I didn't really write. I completely. <laughs> I had Mike write mine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I completely understand why if you were brought here as a child illegally, mm. you should have a path to citizenship. However, I do not understand how if you came here illegally, dishonorably, you should have the honor of being an American citizen. Yes, give them residency. I'm not saying don't give them residency, I but am. they cheated the system. A million people managed to come here legally, and it's really hard. It's really, really tough. And I think we need to separate the discussion between mm -hmm. Uh, citizenship and work visa
visa. I am yeah. talking about work okay. visa. Uh, no, okay, because okay. I'm talking... Cause Make that, it as easy as possible to what, come into this country and work. What that Fox News poll is saying is that there should be a path to citizenship. And there I, should be in comprehensive immigration reform. Absolutely. Well, there no. should Nobody not should be. Get the work visa 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 they, get they sneak out the back door. How many illegals does Britain have from student visas? If you came They're here illegally, you should not be able to be an American citizen because you dishonored the process process and there are a million people mm. here who bother to honor the process mm. they should be given the part citizenship not those who came here illegally well and you're part talking about a process yes. for a lot of people who are just in search of the american dream and by that i mean we're getting the cream of the crop when it comes to workers from mexico and i am speaking about <laughs> having been a border state governor we're getting the cream of the crop these are hard-working individuals that are just in pursuit of the american dream doing jobs that americans don't want to do the cream of the crop cream come of on the crop. yeah absolutely the drunk driving charge We've got all these hidden charges about Gavin, murder, Gavin, don't, 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 that, don't for a second. The don't, infidelity. They can't hold a family for, together. For, first of all, everything that you're saying, these things do happen. But relative to the United States, a citizen of the United States population, much less than citizens of the United States. Crime, much less than <laughs> citizens of the United States. Look what you've done to him! Oh, come on. Maybe in South Chicago or Detroit. No, no, but, but the average American no, but they, no, is right, no, I, no, right no. about the statistics. Less, so. less, the statistics, less crime, a lot less crime, uh, legal and illegal and part of the They're reason, walking on eggshells. But, but, no, but how do you Gavin, gauge their crimes when they're not registered? No, no, but Gavin, the, the, the point he's making, which is w because they're so scared of being deported, they actually don't commit crimes. I mean, anybody who they're not scared of being deported. They go to City Hall with signs saying, this is BS. I don't care if you I know I'm illegal. I'm I shameless. All right. We're not they getting anywhere. They can't fit all that on one sign. No, I'm, I'm crying foul on that. <laughs> they uh, are fearless. Uh, bill, uh, part of the new bill that I've read is for every illegal immigrant that is made legal, you get punched in the face. Uh, which is why it's getting passed. You know what? It's taken six years, but I'm starting to see a theme in your questions. <laughs> <laughs> They're mostly negative. They are. Directed towards me. They are. Uh, in 2000, a million people crossed the border and were apprehended illegally. At 2012, it's 356. I think border control is not an issue. We're controlling the border. Secondly, I've seen firsthand how what you went through. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. We got to make this a lot easier for people who want to come here legally to do so. Having said that, I feel that this should be attractive. <laughs> if you don't look like you, you don't bring anything to the table. If you're ugly, stay there. And if you try to come here, we're not letting you in. Whoa, That's whoa, whoa. Don't stop ugly people coming. Some ugly people who came here are wonderful people. Mm -hmm. uh, just because they look like a turtle with AIDS <laughs> or a worm with a beard doesn't mean a they shouldn't be allowed to come here. A worm with a beard? <laughs> That's I, the title I of your next that, book, isn't it? That sounds that's adorable. Quality, not quantity for a change. Well, worm with a beard sounds adorable. I would want a worm. Much. That's a Richard Scary book. <laughs> I read that when I was a kid. Find the worm with the beard. I, I mean, I, I, I'm with the governor, uh, with the with the idealistic, and I believe that, uh, from my experience in New York, the hardest working people I know, and I know that Gavin's going to laugh at me, the hardest people I know, that the hardest working people I know, are. Probably not here legally, uh, and, and they want to be here. But I look at the world as a rock concert, an outdoor rock concert. If you want pe people to get in through the front door, you got to make a fence. You got to make it so they pay and get in, and and end in a process, a simplified yeah. process. Of course, they want to come here. Everyone wants to come here. That's why we built a nice place. Yes. No, well, Gwyneth Paltrow is not. If you can't get a work <laughs> visa, and yet you've got to feed your family, and you know that if you can get across the border. Even illegally, you can get a job. That's what's happening. That's the phenomenon. Make it easy to document these workers. Make it easy for a background check. There are other numbers. You like e you like e verify? And you know what? Actually, E-Verify has a, has a margin of error that you and I get spit out sometimes really? as being uh, illegal. Mm -hmm. And so there's enough of a margin of error that all of us at this table might get adversely affected by it. Uh, I, just, I think attrition is the key to these people. You just have to make it a little more uncomfortable to employ illegals, and they go home with their tails between their legs and droves. And if you lay this on the employers, it becomes grossly unfair because for the most part, they're presenting documentation that is just isn't, it, it's false documentation. And so the employers get stuck with this well, on my street corner, the only documentation is they happen to stand at the 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. And an, another phenomenon that goes unreported is they, they, they present false documentation, so they end up paying taxes that they never lay claim to. All right, now we got to take a break. Come on! Yeah. All right, you guys, yeah. we got to move on. We've got other things Sorry. to talk about. Immigration reform. Gavin, you said how about a little stigma towards illegal immigrants? Uh, you can't call them illegal immigrants. 
Exactly. Why the hell not? Yeah, I don't know. I would think if you immigrated here illegally, you should be called an illegal immigrant. I, I don't get why libertarians are so pro-immigration. Uh, Milton Friedman said they can come across the border until it becomes a burden on the welfare state, and clearly we've reached that point. Well, that's my thing. I'm, I'm pro-immigration, but my attitude is if you're here illegally or if you're not a citizen, no welfare benefits. And how about no nothing? Get out of here. <laughs> well, I'm fine with you staying if, you, if you're working. Just don't be a drain on the taxpayers. I'm not fine with them working. We, we have people to do those jobs. They're called teens. Mm, yeah. They're fantastic. Yeah. I like it when they have free time. <laughs> God. God. Uh, Governor, you said a fence is a bad idea, that border security won't work, that we should make it as easy as possible for people to come here to work. Uh, the Washington Examiner's Philip Klein noted on Twitter, the Congressional Budget Office says the big growth area for illegal immigration, and Gavin touched on this, people who come here legally on visas and then they don't leave. And that the CBO says because of the guest worker provisions in the, uh, the immigration reform bill, this will actually increase the number of unauthorized residents in the country. Yeah, no, I, I think that that's true. But uh, the way the way to deal with it is uh, reform taxation so that everybody is paying taxes. And uh, as governor of New Mexico, I, I asked for a cost benefit analysis. Is is there more money coming in the door than going out the door? Legal, illegal immigration. More money was coming in the door. That was my administration. That was law mm. enforcement. That was education, uh, and that was uh, health and human services. All right. Uh, the good news in all this is a senator from Hawaii has filed an amendment to the Im immigration bill that would let people who have come to the U.S. because they have been displaced by climate change apply for legal status. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a whole refugee thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Climate change refugees. Not good.